Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today, and we are back in the beautiful city of, well, actually, it doesn't have a name yet, but we are going to give it a name uh, in today's episode, because a few weeks ago, I asked you guys in a community post what we should call it, and you gave me your feedback. Uh, but before we get into that, last episode, we had, um, well, two tornadoes, a tsunami, and a fire. I think, let me see if we can get to, is it city statistics? Destroyed road segments. I guess we can do it this way. There is a way to look at uh, you know, casualties and all that. I mean, we did have nearly 120 casualties when this happened. There were some collapsed buildings throughout. Oh, we can actually hover here and see. Yeah, 116.5 uh, casualties from the disaster. We had a few road segments destroyed. So there was some destruction in our city in the last part. Uh, with that, I asked you guys if we should take Birdsong Heights, our newest district here, and either rebuild it or redevelop it into something new. And pretty unanimously, you guys agreed uh, that we should rebuild this. It was still a new city or new extension to our city, and uh, we hadn't yet seen everything Birdsong Heights had. So we, we shouldn't get rid of it yet. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna keep this just like it is, but there were some other great suggestions you guys had about about adding some fishing industry and expanding this a bit so that there was some kind of identity for Birdsong Heights. So I think today that's what we're going to do is we're going to put the fishing industry over here as well as the factory uh, and the fish market and just make this area um, kind of like a little bit of a fishing part of town. It's hysterical that they think you can get anchovies from this water filled highway. I think this is slowly going down. Uh, when I first got on, I was doing a little bit of just like work on the map. I'm trying to make a nicer mountain range than what we have here. So it's still a work in progress. Uh, and there was more water there. So it is fading slowly. One thing I think we need to address today before we get too far along is right now we have these really shoddy like connections into the city just to kind of keep stuff moving as well as this main main interchange that's presently flooded uh so i think what i want to do is i want to try to come up with some interchange down this way while birdsong heights begins to rebuild and then that'll also give us some time for our demand to get filled back up and uh letting people move back in uh and just kind of recover from the disaster a bit so let's go ahead and try to build out some type of interchange here. We've got tons of people coming down this direction that are presumably gonna wanna come in to this area here. And as we start adding more to this coastline, I think it's worth maybe upgrading this so that it has an avenue. We haven't, we don't really have an avenue. The only other one we have is this one here. And I've, I've gone through, uh, because of the new update, uh, and, and some of your guys' feedback. I removed network extensions mod, uh, so all those extra roads that we had at the beginning are no longer in this build, and instead, uh, I don't have actually any road-related mod at the moment. A lot of you suggested I get vanilla plus and vanilla plus plus roads, so we'll look into those uh, later on, but for now, we're gonna just use base game. Uh, but I think we'll make this into kind of an avenue here to kind of help facilitate some extra movement. Uh, and that gives us a good place to connect up to with our highway. You're already parked over here? There is nothing over here for you. Annabelle Clark, scoop both of these back so that they're hidden away. There we go. And then now that they're out of the way, I think we need to figure out how exactly we want to connect to this. So I think we'll do some kind of one way road or two way road that comes out of here with the intention that it's going to connect to both the uh, oncoming and go outgoing traffic for this highway. So let's get a two lane, a two way highway. I think we'll bring this up. What's our height? Are we at zero? Yeah, we're at zero. Okay, so bring this up. 15 units okay and then I want to actually start bringing this up a little bit so if we brought it out another 10 and at this point we got to I say 20 units how high is that that's not too bad we want to connect this to here so if this were to come off of here I'm ignoring the power lines for now we will deal with them in a moment Let's turn Anarchy off. Where can my first kind of position here go? Right here. So you'll come off and you're still a bit high. If we were to lower this just a bit, we're gonna slope it. What am I doing? We're gonna slope it. This is going to kind of curve over 
to there. I'm happy with that. And then I want to have this come and connect right to here. So basically, like, take this and give it some kind of curve. I think I need to do this one first, though. Let's turn off uh, angle because I've kind of screwed that a bit by building this without this turned on. I'm, I'm afraid these might be actually too close because that's a tight turn. But this is, what height is this? This is at 36. Okay, so we have more than enough time to get up there. If we brought this up too. There we go, now we're at 33. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think if we can just kind of wiggle these around a little bit. Let's actually pause this because I'm gonna get rid of this power line. It's gonna have to move anyway. So there's no point in keeping it there just for right now, if we're gonna have to move it. Okay, so then this is gonna look kind of okay. That's not bad. You know, you have to slow down coming off the highway anyway. But then I also wanna get this, turn Anarchy on, and I think we'll finesse the connections. But we'll bring this to here, okay? And if I then use move it, oh, look at that, one little, one little tap and we get that. Okay, but now what I wanna do, trying to learn this multi-tool here, you guys get to just watch me do that. So maybe not that, maybe what I want is this one to this one. No can't be selected because it's not connected to others. Okay, we'll do that. Can we go from here to here? Yeah, and then can we go from here to here? No, but we can go from here to here. And we can go from here to here. So we can kind of go one by one. Now, we've got this node, which what would happen, what if we just remove it? This is probably really dumb and you're probably telling me not to. Okay, no, that's not bad. It really sends it out like, you know, all the way. It's not horrendous. It's not horrendous. Okay, so then you would have your connection on and off. Let's make sure all these are facing the right way. So this is going down, this is leaving, and this is entering, so that goes this direction. And then just for the sake of making sure this works how we intend, this goes off, this goes on, and that's it. You don't do anything else. Then this middle bit, oop, this middle bit is gonna be upgraded to just be two lanes, because now you've got an exit lane and an entrance lane. Just because sometimes the game likes to get crazy, I think for here, you have to stay in your lane, there's no other connection coming up, so I think you have to stay in your lane, or um, interchange, or exit. So I think you have to stay in your lane just to start, and then after that you can switch. Okay, so that's this like strange on off ramp thing. That works for me, for now. We can change this later on. On this other side, do we wanna do the same, or should we do something different? Because I would love for it to connect to this avenue, just because that seems to make the most sense to me, but at the same time, if there's no easy way to get over there, I guess I built it so like this kind of connection works, but that's about it. I would say, before we do anything, let's take this straight out, just enough so that it comes underneath of the highway. Are we in the way of any pillars? No, we're, we're golden, we're golden. Let's also take this over here. I don't necessarily mind, I think, connecting directly into this from here and then you enter Oh, I don't like you entering before the exit though. It's like a no-no. You could exit and then we come up back on here and this just has the connection built in. It's not the main avenue, but I think for now it'll do. So let's do that. All right, it's a little strange, but it is compact. And I think that's what's important is that we're keeping it compact and keeping it tight so that we're not taking up tons of space for highways just yet. Now we have another connection here. Now I think it's time that we can start focusing on some other needs of the area. We have a huge demand for commercial. Now that we have an avenue here, I think we're gonna change this front area to be commercial. And I do have this tool. So if I turn zoning off here, then we get better zoning here. This would be a lot to turn off. Let's see what happens though. I get a nicer connection here. I like that more. So let's do that. Let's get rid of these. And then let's fill this all in with some zoning. That house isn't ideal. That's okay. 
But now we're gonna get a little bit of business right here along the water. I do want to leave some areas for our fishing business. So let's look at these now. So we've got a fishing harbor. This is the one where we'll draw like a little route and it'll go up and down. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I didn't reconnect the power. And we probably don't have enough water now because I'm not actually... Actually, we're having some sewage issues, surprisingly. So that's something we'll have to address. But let's reconnect this power with our tiny little power line. And then we also need to think about trash and think about sewage. And I would like to actually change over to some of these inland plants. For now, I mean, this is not the best place for them because that is so close to the water. But I think we could think about putting them maybe over here somewhere. Or we could send them a bit away from the city. But since they're movable, let's just place them along here for now. We'll, we'll solve the issue quickly and then later on we can come back and change it if we need to. So we'll connect both of these up, connect them in. That's good for now. That'll give us probably more than enough sewage. Oh yeah, that gave us a ton. What if we got rid of this then? Like if we don't need it. Why keep it? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. And now look, we've stopped polluting the ground. And actually, we're going to take all this away. We're not there yet. There's no reason to build this stuff if we're not going to use it. All right, so now we're back to here. Is anybody using these entrances and exits? Maybe. Uh, we are having some trash issues. This is not at all what I was going to deal with to start, but it looks like we probably need to. I would love to switch to these recycling centers. And I also know that I want to use this fish factory over here somewhere. Let's turn anarchy on so that we don't get anything crazy, like maybe back in this corner. So if that's the case, I wouldn't mind putting one or two of these recycling centers kind of here at the front. They have a pretty decent, oh, they cover the whole city. Okay, I think we go ahead and we put one, two next to each other right here at the front. We're gonna send a path all the way around the back just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of something. And then I do think I wanna bring a connection from here over. Can we go straight underneath? Yes. All the way over here. And eventually like this will all be filled with something. But now let's start to build out our fishing industry. All right, so we've got Fishing Harbor. It needs a road connection. I think that's totally fine. We can place this kind of here and then have the road come down and connect to both sides. So if we brought this, right? Well, we'll put it down and then we'll use move it. So let's just wiggle this around a bit to here. And I wouldn't mind raising it up. It might be a bit tall, but that's okay. Now we can connect up. So let's take our two lane road. Let's bring this straight on out and over. Although I would like this to have like a little curve now that I see it. So let's do, was that four units by four units? And then it's gonna plug right in. And now we've got a oh, much nicer connection. Now it does put a lot of lights on here, which I don't think is totally necessary. Um, if we click on Price Avenue, that's just this road here. Clear traffic rules related to high priority road. Apply stop, wait, hold on, what's this one? This is a just road. Applies all traffic rules for high priority road, customizable and options. Applies yield signs on connecting roads. That's what I want. Yeah. Yield signs on all the connecting roads. There's no reason for lights, at least right now. So now we have this. We need to give it a fishing route. Now this is tuna. Uh, ideally, it's going to be winding and free flowing and like look like the fishing boats are just having a nice time and reconnect it back up. It needs some water. So let's just bring one of these guys kind of straight down and over. And then let's also build these other two items we have in here. So we've got the fish market, fresh fish from harbors, farms, sells it directly to consumers without processing it into goods. I think that this goes here. Like I think it takes up a significant portion of this area. Can it fit in this side? Oh, it can fit in this side. Done. It's going right there. 
it's going right there. Now, I did make one change, but first we're gonna make another change, which is I wanna actually have this come right along the side of this. Great, this can go to here. So that's gonna be a nice and straight connection. And then from here to here, we'll connect straight on up. And then connect this back in. Beautiful. I did make one change to uh, the surface painter. I changed the, where is it, field? Here we go, field. I tried to make it into like a concrete color. Now technically, it's still grass. Like you can see the grass texture. But because everything is giving us this uh, this, uh, what's it called? Like tan-ish color, this peachy color. Uh, I wanted to have some concrete options. And the only way I could think to do that was to make our field paint turn this color. Now it doesn't work perfectly, mainly because this is like on some strange different ground heights. But if we brought this to here and we brought maybe all of these to kind of match this height. Now we kind of have a concrete color. So we'll see, I mean, you tell me what you think. If you don't really care that it has this like orange color, that's fine. Uh, if you do care or it bothers you, then we can start doing some more of this concrete stuff. So let's actually smooth out this edge now. It does have a little bit of a cliff face, but I think we can resolve that by putting in a nice fence. Uh, let's do the, I like the amusement park fence. Or don't we have a new fence now? We have the airport fence. That seems a little excessive. And we're gonna come right from here and send this straight on down and send it up. So now we've got fish coming in from here. We have got the fish market. Now we're still having tons of trash issues. Are these both full? The building is emptying, 31% full, 71% full. All right, the buildings are all full. Because this is an industrial space, I think we need to put in a little bit more garbage processing. Oh yeah, we are far below what we need. So let's take this road. We're gonna bring it out, 18 units. We're gonna do a little bit of a curve here. And bring it over this way, I think. And let's just throw down. Building must be placed, placed roadside. What have I done? I disabled zoning. Guys, I gotta learn all these mods and it is a struggle. There we go. Now we can place these. So we're gonna do one, two. Just extend that a little bit more and we can remove this node. We don't need it. Okay, great. So now we've got two extra ones down this way. And I think with that, I also am gonna move our power plant over here and then we'll reconnect the power plant up this way. But we're gonna start getting away from the grid. I've heard a, a lot of comments that we need to start moving away from the grid. I agree. I think it is time that we begin to shift over to a little bit more free flowing roads because the grid can get boring pretty quickly. So we're gonna put that there. Um, if, I, if I move this, can this fit behind it? It can. Okay, so we're gonna fill in this little section though. I'm gonna make this a little hub here. It's gonna be really polluted and that's okay. There's gonna be parts of the city that just have to be that way. But we got power production, we've got sewage production, and we have our trash trucks over here. Um, is this a light issue or a water issue? I think y'all are driving through just fine. So I think that's just the light. We've got more trucks coming in, more people moving around. We're gonna need to think about another entrance exit, I think over here, or rework this one, probably most likely, so that it's a little bit, makes a little bit more sense. Uh, but now we're starting to deal with those trash issues. That's great. There was one other thing I wanted to add from this, which was the fish factory. So this turns the fish that we collect at the harbor into uh, like commercial goods. And I wanna put this right over here. The pollution doesn't go past the highway and the noise actually doesn't hit the houses on the other side. So I think that works out really well. I think this will go, do we wanna face it? No, we'll face it this way. We'll face it this way. So we have this fish factory and then I wanna put a parking lot right behind it because you know that I love these little parking lots. Throw anarchy on, ooh, we could fit. 
We could almost fit two next to it, but that's not gonna work. We'll put a little parking lot there. No, we won't. We'll put it next to it. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. All right, so we have a little parking lot. We've got our roads. We've got a connection. That all looks great. I actually wanna put another one of these paths in here. Like, what if we took a path from right here? It technically intersects that pillar, but that's a simple fix. Scoot that right down. No big deal. Now I do think we need to do some trees in this area. I know it's gonna be pretty dirty all around, but let's throw down a few trees. I'm gonna use some of these newer trees that we have from the airports or the free update, because they came out for for everybody, which is fantastic. So let's do a little line. It, could, it can be a trash area, but it doesn't have to look like a trash area. Or at least you don't need to like stare at the trash as you're coming in. All right, and then I think back here behind the fish factory, do another little line. Actually, no, that's too symmetrical. So I think instead, we kind of like strategically place a few of these. And actually these would be probably cut back because you can't see anywhere around that corner with those. Oh, great. Got a few here, maybe one or two there. Just gives it a little bit of something. Okay, now let's actually add in a little bit more commercial because we do need some commercial. This is gonna be making commercial goods too. So we'll put a, a little spot of commercial here. We'll put a spot of commercial here. And then if I come over this way, we'll do one here. I think that's probably it. I don't wanna put anything there. We can go ahead and put a small collection of commercial. Wow, right there. And they immediately built on that. Now all this has water, which is great. This is creating fish for us, which is awesome. We have 20 of 26 workers. We are gonna to need to do some more uh, expansion for our residential. Before we do, let me just make sure this has all the services. It doesn't have any healthcare. It has no fire. They have no police. They have no school. High school, we actually can fit a few more. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on this high school that we left off from before. And I think I actually wanna do just a little bit more commercial right along this road. And I think that this road here will get a bunch of residential. Now it's gonna be loud. They're not gonna like have a great time living here, but I think if we come in, let's throw down some of these new trees that we've just been messing around with. I do imagine that as we continue to develop some of these areas, even though it's an arid climate, I would think that the city would put a lot of money into making sure things looked nice, especially in moments like this where like you're built right up against a highway. Oh, busy town. We have unlocked tourism, oil, a number of different special uh, policies, and we unlocked all of the beautiful roads, the ones with the trees and the grass line. And then we have some larger types of industry or larger types of uh, services. We have the bigger fire stations, police station, an oil power plant. Ooh, and we got some marina related items. We've got to play some of those. That looks pretty nice. It's pretty decent. Gave us a little bit more residential, a little bit more commercial. That's good. Now let's go ahead and look at these brand new guys we unlocked. Where are the, here we go, all of these like marinas and things. I know we've got the actual fishing harbor, but there's no reason we couldn't do just a regular fishing pier. It's gonna be like pretty high up. Like that would have to be a pretty intense line you'd have to cast. And this is some like seriously fast moving water. We are on one time speed. But we'll put a, one of those fishing piers, maybe over here when we go further along this direction, we'll put some other items there as well. Uh, all this is kind of filled in. That looks great. I'm loving this little building. That looks fantastic. Coin laundry. We've got quiet corner shop, a neighborhood shop. What's over here? Another one of these neighborhood shops. Fantastic. All right, this is still not getting any goods. Not enough fish. Who's coming here though? You're coming here and you're carrying 100% load of fish. That's awesome. Before we finish out for the day, we do need to go ahead. Let's lay down some services really quick before we forget, because knowing me, I will move right past this and never visit it again. So let's place down a clinic. I think the clinic can go the clinic can go back here. It's close to some of the businesses. I think that's a good way to fill in that spot. We 
absolutely need fire protection. So let's get a small fire station. I think it's gonna go on the main avenue here. We'll do here, we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna actually place down four parking lots. Because you'd imagine that like a lot of people would come visit here. In addition to the four parking lots, let's path right through this, right along the side. Let's turn off pretty much everything. Come right here along the side, give that a nice path. And then from here, we can place down our fire station. We can place down a police station. I want the small one. That's 12,000. Yep, that's the one I want. A little police station. And then I do want to leave a space, maybe here, maybe it's going to be somewhere that we build new, but someone suggested that we put in uh, like a memorial fountain or statue or something. Uh, so I think that's something we need to do. So I'll look on the, the workshop, but if there's any good suggestions you have, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I know you can't put a link in there, but just tell me what to search on the workshop and we can go ahead and put something down next time. Uh, let's... Does this work? Oh, it works. It works. Oh, that's too much. You're working too well. Here, go back here. And let's cut it off from here. But everything else, we're going to give it kind of a concrete look. Because I like the way that this sandy color works for the sidewalks, but that's technically concrete. And so then this, it gets a little, a little finicky with these. If we move these back, are they still technically connected to the road? And then let's do a, what tree is this? A blooming Hakaranda tree. Let's put a few of these. I don't know. They didn't put a lot of money into landscaping, but they planted four trees. Okay, so we got a parking lot. We've got our little area coming along. So now Burnsong has a purpose. It's our fishing village of our town. I think that's great. Before we end, I want to tell you guys what we're going to be naming our map. I asked you guys in a community poll what we should name it and gave you some suggestions that you guys had left in the comments. And overwhelmingly, what, 53%, I think, uh, all agreed that we should name this Waffle County. So this is Waffle County. Uh, I think in the next part, I want to walk away from Birdsong. We've got a little bit of money in our pocket, so we can maybe start developing elsewhere. Or maybe what we do is we kind of close this out with some sprawling roads that come away from the grid that we have and then we move to another spot. But I want to start building uh, in other places. And in between parts, I want to keep working on taking mountains like this and turning them into mountains like this because I think this is more of the vibe that we're going for. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and some patience and it just is not a quick process. So we'll keep working on that and I'll be changing those uh, over time. But guys, I think that's where we're going to leave this part here. This looks fantastic i'm loving we got this fishing industry in here are actually before we close you're like way full before you even get to the end you're already at 82 over here so we could probably make this more efficient but i like seeing the boats kind of move around so we might leave it as is for now but i think that we're gonna leave this part here uh thank you guys so much for watching leave some suggestions in the comments below uh, about what else we should do here in birdsong and if we should make any other changes i am going to add up uh some memorial statue or fountain of some kind once I find one on the workshop. But if there's anything else you want to see here, let me know. And in the next part, I think we really need to address this demand we have for residential. So I think that's where we need to break up this grid and start doing some sprawl away from the main kind of gridded center that we had uh, when we started the episode or we started the city. But again, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.